guys my name is Victoria and welcome to my channel today we're gonna try out a little book tag we are going to be doing the do I have that book challenge so I don't know how this is gonna go because I have a um, really a weird organizational system for my books um, a lot of the books on this side I basically organize them by like read and unread so this is the side that I've read and then this is mostly the side that I have not read although there are some exceptions to that like I've read these babies right here so yeah I don't know how this will go I also have a bookshelf across the room and I have one um, on this wall over here which you can't see right now but yeah <laughs> I have books everywhere oh and maybe a couple books in my bedroom so let's just see what happens so I guess you're supposed to do this really is just as fast as you can and so I'm not gonna put a timer on or anything because that's just too much work to be honest so let's just see how fast I can get through all these question number one is do you have a book with deckled edges yes for sure now where that might be is a completely other question aha okay that didn't take too long um, I remember the CS Lewis books in this edition have deckled edges and I don't hate deckled edges I think they're just fine I like them actually I like how they look some people um, really hate them and they drive them crazy because I guess it's kind of hard to turn the page I guess sometimes but I don't really care I like them I'm a monster I guess <laughs> but yeah so this is the problem of pain by CS Lewis I haven't read this one yet I would like to get to this hopefully soon question number two is do you have a book with three or more people on the cover Ooh, actually three is a lot of people don't you think that's a lot of people to be on a book cover um hang on I don't think there's three people oh 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 there's got to be three people on these yes <laughs> there's more than three a wrinkle in time by Madeline Langle there are one two three I remember because there are three witches and I remember this series um, having them as really important characters and that they are on this cover that um, I just bought these actually pretty recently cuz I want to reread them starting hopefully next month so yeah there's actually like six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there's twelve people on this cover whoa I'm an overachiever y'all overachieving like a boss question number three is do you have a book based on another fictional story um like a fairy tale I'm guessing oh yes yes hang on I have to leave I do own cinder by Marissa Meyer but I haven't read this yet just like many of my books <laughs> haven't gone around to it yet but this is a retelling of Cinderella and I guess she's a cyborg or something apparently people like it I'm gonna try it someday question number four is do you have a book with a title 10 letters long hmm <sighs> I gotta do some counting hang on all these titles are really long oh no no that's nine um oh oh wait did I count right hang on I have to do a recount I don't trust myself 10 yay and I darken by Kirsten white also haven't read this one <laughs> You'd think I've read none of the books on my shelves, and you would be wrong, okay? I've read some of them, but not this one. This was an impulse buy. I had just seen it on Book Outlet. It was cheap. I bought it. Didn't have any immediate plans to get to it, so there it sits for a someday. Someday. Actually, I almost read it for um, re the Reading Rush because it has purple on the cover, but then I discovered another book that I wanted to read that had purple on the cover, and this one got put back on the shelves so there you go 10 letters question number five is do you have a book with a title that starts and end with the same letter that's odd oh easy easy right here once more a book I haven't read six of crows no I have not read it I haven't read any Lee Bardugo at all but I own some again this is my to be read side so that's why most of those I haven't read but Six of Crows, S, S, cool. Question number six is, do you have a mass market paperback book? Definitely. I definitely have that, like a lot of them. 
Um, is this one? Yeah, this is one. The casual vacancy. A casual. The. <laughs> I never remember if it's a casual vacancy or the casual vacancy. Apparently it's the. But yes, mass market paperback. I have read this one by J.K. Rowling, The Casual Vacancy. Yay. A book I actually read. I have nothing against mass market paperbacks in general. I love saving a dollar. <laughs> I, you know, I don't super mind broken spines. It's not like a big deal to me. I don't care if all my books are super pretty. That's just me. There are bigger things to worry about in life. However, if I have an option between a mass market paperback and a bigger floppy edition, as long as it's like floppy as heck, I will take that floppy edition. I will pay the extra five dollars or so to get that floppy edition because I just love floppy books. Question number seven is do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Okay that one's gonna be harder. I have I have heard that C.S. Lewis used a pen name but I don't know if C.S. Lewis was a pen name or if some other name was so I'm gonna have to skip him. I thought maybe I could use him, but I, I think I'm wrong about that. Okay, Yoda, you're gonna need to move over. I feel like in the, my classic section, I should be able to find someone with a pen name, right? Okay, this is officially the longest it has taken me to find a book. I have no freaking clue. I have no freaking clue. Okay, if I can't find one in the next like five minutes, I give up. Okay, I'm gonna have to call myself defeated by that one because I bet I do have one written by a pen name, but I'm just too stupid to know. So probably, probably somewhere, but I don't, I don't know that information. So I failed a question. Question number eight is, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? For sure. Dracula, easy. <laughs> Dracula by Bram Stoker. I actually read this last year. Um, didn't super love it. Gave it three stars. It was okay. Question number nine is, do you have a book with two maps in it? And definitely, I'm sure I do because I have a lot of fantasy books. So, Lord of the Rings must have. Whoa, things, oh, things are falling. We're dying. Things are attacking us. Okay, Lord of the Rings, you must have more than two maps. There's no way you have less than two maps. Aha! Really? Do you just have one? No. Haha! -ha. Okay. Lord of the Rings. There's one map of um, some place. Mordor? Something. <laughs> and then, oh look, another map. And, um, oh look, a third map. So yes, you can always count on J.R.R. Tolkien to give you some good quality maps. Fun fact, I plan on doing a reread of Lord of the Rings next year, um, but I want a better copy. I just have this crappy all three-in-one version that's like falling apart. I want those nice pretty paperbacks that I keep seeing everywhere. Um, this one I think I got at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, buying books at grocery stores never gives you very nice covers, but uh, yeah, I've read it at least. Question number 10 is, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? <sighs> oh, probably. I have plenty of books turned into movies, but TV show? It's maybe going to be a little harder. Ooh, um... I feel like a classic, again, there must be mini series out there somewhere. How about is going to be, how, okay, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I know, oh, no, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna cheat. I have one. I have one. Neil Gaiman, American Gods. I'm pretty sure this became a TV show. Haven't read this yet. Haven't seen the TV show either. So, need to get on that ASAP. Um, I love Neil Gaiman. I don't know why I haven't read this yet. Question number 11 is, do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? Definitely, because I have bunches of memoirs, so I have one right here. Ooh, well, let's pick this one because it is definitely a throwback to the 2000s. I have Reliant K's book. If you ever listened to Reliant K, can you please holler at me because... They are like my favorite band of all time. I know. They were my jam in middle school. And I still love them with all of my heart. Um, the Complex Infrastructure Known as the Female Mind by Reliant K. 
obviously they are a band and they wrote a book that which is super funny it's actually a book about like different kinds of girls and like how to get along with them so they have like the homecoming queen the poet the drama queen the airhead they have like a mathlete vanilla pudding so they have a bunch of like stereotypical girls this is kind of like a book that i don't think would be published in modern times because people would be offended by it but um, it's all in good fun because Reliant K is very much like a jokester kind of band. So, yes. I love this book. I should reread it. Question number 12 is do you have a book with a clock on a cover? And I have no idea. How about clock pieces? Brave New World? Eh? Clock inner workings of a clock maybe. I don't think that really counts, does it? I think I need to do some traveling across the room again for this. So, goodbye for a moment. Well, I looked all around and I think I am defeated by this question. So minus another point. I think I failed two questions so far. So huh? we'll see. We'll keep going. See what happens. Question number 13 is do you have a poetry book? Yes. Yes, I do. I have mm, several, many. Uh -huh. The Raven and other poems by Edgar Allan Poe in this scholastic edition. And it's like the tiniest, skinniest book I own probably. So yes. Good old Edgar Allan Poe coming through. I have other poetry books too. I actually really like poetry. So yeah, I haven't talked about poetry much on my channel. Question number 14 is, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? The Giver by Lois Lowry got the Newbery Award. Haven't read it yet. For some reason, it escaped me. I feel like a lot of people read this for school or had to read it for school and I didn't. Never picked it up, but I hear great things. Question number 15 is, do you have a book with the same initials as you? And I probably don't, because I have weird initials. My initials are VB, and I imagine it's pretty unusual to have V as any initial. Um, so I have to think about this. Pretty sure I don't. I feel this question too. I don't have one by anyone with the initials of VB. Sorry. Minus three points for me so far. Question number 16 is, do you have a book of short stories? Yes, I do. One I haven't read, again. The Collected Stories of Frank Herbert. Frank Herbert wrote Dune, which I have read, but really need to reread because I don't remember a lot of the details. I would like to do a reread of Dune someday. Um, and then I found this for super cheap on Book Outlet, and uh, it's a lovely, super floppy paperback, which, ha. Huh, I just love that. So someday I'll get around to maybe reading some of Frank Herbert's short stories. Question number 17. Yes, yes. 17. Do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? It's oddly specific, but okay. This is obviously going to take us forever, forever and ever, taking us forever. Okay, this is really frustrating because I'm sure I do, but I cannot find one. Okay, we're gonna cheat a little bit with this one because I found one that's 513 pages. That's the closest I can get. And I don't wanna be doing this all day counting pages. So in order to move on with my life, Sophie's World by Jocelyn Garter. Truthfully, I have no idea what this book is. I don't know how I got it. I'm thinking, I think I remember that I was recommended Sophie's Choice by someone and I saw this book and I thought it was the same thing and then I realized my mistake. So I bought Sophie's World and I don't know anything about it. But Madeline Langle blurbed it on the cover so um, I have hope for it. But it continues to sit on my shelf because I have no idea what this book is and I have no motivation to pick it up. So if you know anything about this, let me know. I'd be really curious to find out. Question number 18, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Do I ever? Um, obviously. How about The Book Thief? Let's go with that. The Book Thief, yes. Read this at the very end of the year in December of last year and loved it. Five stars, beautiful, great book. Question number 19, do you have a graphic novel? Ooh, no, I don't actually. I had one graphic novel and I didn't like it and I got rid of it. That book was Persepolis. 
I don't know why I didn't like it. I just didn't connect with it somehow. I don't know. I don't know what. But um, the the next closest thing that I have is manga. Does that count? Is that a graphic novel? Probably not. I have Fruits Basket. I have four, five volumes of it. Yeah, that probably doesn't count. Graphic novel and manga are not the same thing. So, no, I don't have one. And finally, question number 20, do you have a book written by two or more authors? I did it one time and then I unhauled it. <laughs> Me and my picky reading taste, I keep unhauling things. Um, da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 if I go into my Christian area my, with my Christian books, I bet I can find one. See, I knew it. This is Rachel's Cry by Kathleen Billman and Daniel Migliore. Migliore? Um, this book was actually a book my husband had to buy for a seminary for one of his classes. And he told, I think he told me I should read it, maybe? I don't know. He had to read like part of it, but he didn't read the whole thing, so... I don't know what this is about. All right, we finished the tag. I think I missed like three or four questions, which I was kind of expecting that, but uh, overall, I guess we did okay. That's kind of a hard tag. I hope you had fun with it. I tag you to do it if you haven't done it. I guess this has been floating around for a while, so it's like a, few, a month or two old or so, but um, I enjoy doing silly tags like this. It makes for a fun video to make. I hope you're having a great day and keep reading great books. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.